Okay, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Ms. Linda. We'll continue with the topic one, measurements and uncertainty. And this is question number six. We have a student to set up a circuit to study the variation of resistance of a negative temperature coefficient thermistor with temperature. The data are shown plotted on the graph. First, draw the best fit line for the data points. So here I draw the data. I just connect the points uh, together. Best fit line, not necessarily to be a straight line. It could be uh, a curve. Next, calculate the gradient of the graph when temperature is 291 Kelvin. So I will come and Get a ruler, okay? Put the ruler at 291 and draw a tangent line. Extend this tangent line to find the slope. So we draw the tangent line, how we're going to calculate the gradient or the slope will go to the extremist point. Now, here for the uh, vertical axis, I have resistance in ohm, and in the horizontal axis, I have temperature in Kelvin. You see the scales here, it's 2. 2 minus 0 is 2 divided by how many squares do I have? I have 10 squares. So each square will represent 2 divided by 10.2. This is each scale, each square. Here in the uh, horizontal axis, I have 280 minus 290 divided by divided by 10. So each one will give me 10 divided by 10. It will give me one. So 10 divided by 10, it give me one. So each square will give me one. So here I have uh, this point here on the x-axis is 315, 317. And this point here, this one here in the y-axis, I have here uh, seven, each point, each square is 0.2, so 7.4. This one will be 7.4. So if I want to find the slope, change in y divided by change in x. Change in, in um, in Y will be 7.4, 7.4 divided by change in X. Change in X, I have 317 minus 280. So it will give me around 0 0.2, 0 0.2. So the slope or the gradient, calculate the gradient or the slope. The gradient or the slope change in y over change in x change in y it will be 7.4 divided by change in x 3 1 uh, 317 minus 280 it will give me minus 0.2 minus because here i have the gradient is moving is moving down so i should have a negative slope or negative gradient if the slope is moving up like this, it will be positive. The slope it's positive. If the slope is horizontal, it will be uh, if the line is horizontal. So the slope for a horizontal line is zero. If the line is moving down, so M or the slope is negative. Now, what will be the unit for the slope or the gradient? Y, the unit of Y is ohm. Unit for X is Kelvin. So it will be ohm over Kelvin. Ohm over Kelvin, or I can say negative 0.2 ohm per Kelvin. OK, uh, second part of the question, you have the uncertainty in the resistance is 5% and this is fractional uh, or percentage uncertainty. 5% it means 5 over 100, which means 0.05%. So this one is the percentage uncertainty. Percentage uncertainty is the uncertainty divided by the original value will give me 0.05. 
or 5 over 100. Now, the uncertainty in the temperature is negligible. So I have only uncertainty in uh, resistance. Draw the error bar. Draw the error bar for data point at T. So at, at T equals 283. From the graph, will be what will be the resistance? So if we go back to the graph at T200, this is 283. We'll go up here and read the value, the value for resistance R, this one here, this value. So R will be around 7.5. 7.5 from the graph. So R, it's 7.5 ohm. I need to draw the error bar, which means I need the absolute uncertainty. The error bar, it's the absolute uncertainty, delta R. So let's calculate in this one, this formula. Delta R over 7.5 will give me 0 0.05. Cross multiplication and find Delta R. So delta R, if I multiply 7.5, uh, 7.5 times 0 0.05 will give me, will give me around after uh, 0.375, which is around 0 0.4. 0 0.4, if we go back to the graph, that means I can draw, we said each square is 0 0.2, so 0 0.4 it will be two squares, two squares up. So at 238, which, which means this point here, this point, this one, I will go up, I should go up two uh, squares. So I will count one, two, this is one and a half, so it will be here and here, this is one, two, so it will be uh, almost here. Two squares, two squares up from both sides, up and down. Same thing, we can calculate for the other value, which is T equals 319. So we can do it here, 319. T equals 319 Kelvin. R from the curve, from the graph, we'll go and read 319. So here 15, here 17, so it will be around here. Go and read this value. Okay, so this one, it will be around 1.8. So R will be 1.8 and we have the formula delta R over R will equal 0 0.05. Now substitute delta R over 1.8 will give me 0 0.05. Cross multiplication, so delta R will be around 0 0.1. 0 0.1, it means if each uh, square up is 0 0.2, so 0 0.1, it will be half a square have a square up. So you'll go at this point, this point here, and you will you draw half a square up, half a square up, one line here up and down half a square. Okay, the other question. You have uh, the electric current through the thermistor for uh, is 0 0.78 milliamp. So this is I, I is 0.78 milli, it means times 10 to the power negative three amp. The uncertainty in the current, the uncertainty in the current is 0.1 milliamp. So delta I is 0.01 milliamp. Okay, calculate the power dissipated by the thermistor. Now with power, this is you're going to study it in uh, topic uh, six electricity, uh, topic five. So it's equals to I squared times R. I, it's 0.78 times 10 to the power negative three. 
square times uh, the resistor here. I need the color uh, at T at T the rest of the question 283 at Kelvin. So at this temperature we found the value for of R from the graph was 7.5 ohm. And this will give me will give us 4.5 times 10 to the power negative 6 watt or joule per second. This is the power. Second part of the question, I need to find the uncertainty in the power dissipated. From the formula, we're going to use propagate, uh, propagation, uh, propagating uncertainty. So I have the formula P equals I squared times R. I have here multiplication, so I should find the uh, percentage or uh, fractional uncertainty. So fractional uncertainty will be delta P over P equals two will get it out delta I over I original plus delta R over R at this temperature. So this one will be two delta I is 0 0.01 milliamp divided by I 0.78 milli and milli decancel. That's why I didn't put it milliamp and milli decancel out plus uh, delta R, the uncertainty in R uh, at this temperature, we found it to be 0.4 from uh, the previous uh, part of the question, divided by R is 7.5. And when you calculate this one, you should get 7.8%. That's it. Um, we'll solve maybe next another question, maybe tomorrow or the day after.